like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all really know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Salute to every single one of y'all. And my guy Showtime SP, the nobody that knows bodies. Let's get right into it. So, URL outside, outside card uh, is going down. You know what I'm saying? They're putting together a card with some pretty cool matchups on there. I've seen some of the reaction, I've seen some of the people talking. Uh, so far, I've seen New Jersey Twerk versus Chef Trez, Saflair Soul versus Rum Nitty, and O Red versus Fonz. Now, I'll talk about these battles real quick, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure when the whole card comes out, I'll get with Showtime SP and we'll do, you know, further deliberation, breakdown, etc., etc., etc. As far as recaps, I don't know. I can't guarantee as far as with these app battles, as far as recaps, I know a lot of people want me to recap. I, I don't, I, it, it, here's the thing. You want me to do bar for bar for bar for bar breakdowns of battles that A, I can't use the footage for, B, a lot of the general public ain't gonna see because a lot of them up because don't got the app. So for me, it's, it's kind of counterproductive. So I, I may do some, like when it comes to the recaps nowadays, uh, and, and plus URL, the way they drop battles, I hate it. You know what I'm saying? They got this outside car. Let some of the battles outside, first of all. Won't you let some of the battles that you niggas is holding from the last three events outside? Yes! Sir, this nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. Right? Like, like, we have the app. I still have it. I still do. But you got Tay Rock versus Stumbles, Ad versus True Foe, and a whole bunch of other battles from like two, three events ago that ain't out. Then y'all drop battles every now and then, or y'all drop a whole event the same day. Who is going to watch eight battles in... You don't drop battles, but then you drop whole events in one day. Who the fuck? Who's the program director over there? Who is running shit over there? I can talk like that. I don't got no boss. So who's who's running this? The, 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 the releases are crazy. So let some battles outside. So while I'm excited for the car, I'm not excited really because I don't know if we're going to see these battles before the NBA Finals. I'm going to be honest with you. We may not see any of them before the NBA Finals, and that's crazy. Uh, Y'all had the other card where John John versus Chef Trez and them battles happened. It was a cool event, but nobody really recapped any of their battles. <laughs> why? 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 I'm the one who recap gods, and I didn't do it. Why didn't draw any interest? I'll be honest with you. Some of them were just cool. But um, the battles that I see coming up, I like some of them for certain reasons. Um, because we can't complain that you are on these, they got no superstars. They got, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and let's just be honest. A lot of the moves that's been made are cool, but a lot of stuff is not moving the needle. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys, they've had guys around on the roster for years. I could name 15 of them right now. That if I named all of them, they wouldn't be bigger than the artists who just left the league. You know what I'm saying? Easy to block captain, respectfully. They wouldn't have been, they're not as big as that. So, I get it why like, some of these guys' careers are cool, but a lot of them are treadmill, running place. They ain't not really doing it. They don't market themselves well. They don't promote themselves well. A lot of them don't have YouTube. A lot of them have Twitters and they have less followers and shit than we do. I'm a blogger. I got 40,000. There's artists that have been on the league for four, five, six, seven years that ain't got 10,000. So it, the marketing and the promotion is, is in another lane. But my first suggestion would be let some of the damn battles outside. Where's Rock versus Stumbles? They battled so long ago that when it comes out, nobody even cares. If you release a battle three months later, two months later, 90 days later, nobody cares about it. Especially when all the other leagues are putting content on YouTube. So you don't got nothing on YouTube and y'all release battles dumb late or you release them all at the same time. So that's my suggestion to you. If anything changes, I hope it does. Um, the Flair Soul versus Rum Nitty. Um, so Rum Nitty, champion of the year, just had a crazy run. He did his thing. So Flair Soul... You know, he's coming up. He had uh, some battles on there. I did see uh, it was him versus Foots. I saw, uh, I seen him versus the dude, uh, Z the dude that be on, Z Dropout that be on DNA's podcast on the app. Then that's another thing. Y'all throw his podcast on the app. I don't watch wrestling. I ain't watched wrestling in 20 years. Why am I 
forced to pay to watch wrestling. Like None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too. I'm serious too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. Like, that's another thing that I don't like. But that's another story. I don't watch wrestling. I ain't watched wrestling in 20 years. But you niggas will drop more of that shit than you will actual battles. Y'all got your days as number with me on that app now. Um, <laughs> what else? So, uh, I saw him versus Zeta drop out. Uh, Zeta drop out to me sounds too much like Mike P. That's just is what it is. Uh, so, Flair so, uh very lyrical. And then he had a two-on-two -two with uh, Chef Trez and Nunna. I didn't see it. No, no knock on that. I mean... That's not a battle that's gonna draw, draw me to the app and have me recapping and all of that. It's just not, like, that's not it. But uh, I heard they won, so salute to them in that regard. Um, but dude is very lyrical. Oh, him versus Chess was dope, too. Him versus Chess, he, he went crazy on Chess. Uh, Don's a dead Bob. That's some balls from Chess. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that was fine. He, he cooked Chess. Um, now he's going against Rum Nitty. Uh, in this regard, I like it because we can't want something on one hand and then not give the people the opportunity to do it. You know what I'm saying? It'd be crazy if we're up here like, yo, we want to see new stars, we want to see new people, we want to see new people, and then they give us somebody a shot and then we're just going to shoot it down. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to watch it when it comes out 4th of July or Labor Day weekend. I, I, I'm sure I get around to watching it. But uh, I do, going into it, I got Rum Nitty winning. I, I, it's very hard for me to pick against Rum Nitty. It's hard to pick against Rum Nitty in any battle. Because he shows up damn near every time. Like, yeah, how am I going to pick against Rum Nitty? You know what I mean? Like, so, I do have Rum Nitty winning. Uh, I, so, Flair Soul could really do a lot for himself with a win in this battle. Or with even making it a close battle. Because most of the new niggas, when they get it from Nitty, oh, already, already, my fuck's already lose. You already know that. Like, he battled them, they gone. They're not even going to win. They ain't going to get a chance. They're going to lose every round. So, if you get around or make it interesting... It could bode well for you, you know what I'm saying, as, as far as your rise and things like that. But going into it, I got Rum Nitty 2 1. I, 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 I'll throw him around, but we'll see what happens. Um, Fonz versus O Red. Uh, There's another situation with Fonz. I always been asking why Fonz is not getting the names he deserves, why Fonz is not getting the push, why Fonz is not elevating, going to the next level. I mean, there's some years y'all give him a good place, but then there's other years where I'm seeing him on stage, he's battling against his Prestavias and new people. It's like, no knock on them, but I feel like Fonz has been nice since like 2019, 2020. We're in 2023, and you're not giving him the big, 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 big plates. To get, where's the easy run? Can he get some names like that? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. But y'all ain't giving people, it, it ain't giving what it's supposed to give. And I think Fonz is lyrically talented. He promotes himself well. Uh, he's always on social media, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll, he'll see different blogs. He'll see this. He will see this. And he takes different clips. He'll put the clips up. He'll keep himself in rotation, and he keeps his name relevant. You gotta respect that. And plus, he's a hard worker, and he had one of his best battles ever versus Rum Nitty. Regardless of how you feel, he's one of the only new cats that really, really delivered against somebody of that status and that stature. So you gotta respect that. Uh, then you got O Red. O Red, you know, we all know what he do. Legendary performer, you know, bars after bars. He got punches. He's one of the first rapid flow dudes. He had one of the first male versus female battles versus Miss Hustle. But with what I've just seen with Fonz versus Rum Nitty and what I've seen with O Red in his last couple battles, I got Fonz winning pretty clearly, too. I ain't gonna go out the way and be like 30, he's getting destroyed. But I do have uh, Fonz winning because Fonz punches at a higher rate nowadays. Like now, now Fonz punches at a higher rate. Fonz is a little bit more aggressive than O-Red is right now, and Fonz wants it, you know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely am leaning towards him, especially, i just seen him deliver war to Rum Nitty. I know how O-Red gives it up, I know how O-Red gets down, but the thing is, with O-Red, he definitely has a choking issue, so he definitely will stumble through, he definitely with jersey in rounds, and he does, if he's still doing that shit where he's explaining, like, you know what I'm saying, like, like, He's explaining the bar after he says this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, he'll be like, uh, let's just, I know somebody you've said this line before, but he'll be like, uh, uh, the green thumb, I light on the plant, photosynthesis, I'll get you, Merc, then send a photo to sis, you know, because when you send a photo to sis, like, that, that, that explain, you don't got to explain your bars, my nigga, we've we been around long enough, but I, I'm just saying, I ain't hating, he may feel I'm hating, I really don't give a fuck. But that explaining after every line and all that, like, it drags it out. It, it, it ain't gonna, Fonz is gonna be rapidly punching is what I'm saying. Fonz will be rapidly punching. 
I love what O-Red does, and I, I, I don't hate on him. I know what he can do at a high level, but Fonz has really been wilding right now, and I know he's going to take full advantage of this opportunity. But if O-Red wins, I'll jump back on camera and say it, because guess what? Bloggers are like the weatherman. We can get shit wrong, and we still going to have a job. So I don't mind. Prove me wrong. O-Red, make me a believer. You know what I'm saying? B-Magic just made me a believer the other day. You know what I'm saying? I seen him in the motherfucking blue room. Church Tower, I keep a bell on me. Du, 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 du. He dropped the whale on Like, bring it back. Let me, make me motivated again. You know? Make me motivated to talk about you. I've been challenging myself. I've been talking about MCs that I normally wouldn't talk about, seeing if the views and the, 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 the shit is still going to be the same. I talked about B-Magic battle, did 10,000 views. I talked about Ace I mean, and him and Calvin going back did 10,000 views. So I could talk about different artists and many artists. I don't have to stick to just the hottest names. You know what I mean? Because I was here before some of those names. And I'll be here when a lot of these motherfuckers ain't around no more. So if the topic is good and it's worth a blogger talking about it, we'll talk about it. But oh, Red, you got to cook. You have to cook. Like, you can't just come in there and be a mediocre. Okay, it was cool. No, Fonz is going to fry. I got confidence in O-Red, but I got Fonz 2-1. Uh, New Jersey Twerk versus Chef Trez. I know I said in blogs that I want to see New Jersey Twerk get better competition as far as like upping the names and upping the ante, but I must say, I do agree with the route that they're going with him now because when Twerk was around and just getting nothing but big names, whether he won, lost, or draw, just getting big name after big name after big name, it wasn't panning out well. Some of the battles he'll win, he'll have battles with a jersey in, he'll have battles where he, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the history ain't no mystery. But his last four or five performances in the battles that they've brought him in with a Next and with a Real Sick and with all of these guys, he's been showing up three rounds down, performing at a high level, and Coffee Brown and all of these, and he's been doing well. So uh, I think that bodes well for him. John John and Don and Chef Trez just having Chef Trez. Uh, it's a pretty debatable battle, and I'm not going to lie, it's not even really that entertaining. I ain't going to lie to none of y'all. I watched it like when it first, 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 first came out, and... It didn't really like, 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 a, like recaps for me be a feel. If I watch the battle, I get a feeling like, yo, this is really good. I'll talk about it, I'll recap it, but that battle, it just didn't do that for me. Especially with two people that have the history that him and John John have. I thought it would have been a way better battle. I just thought it would have been a way better battle, and it wasn't. Um, that, but that battle went 2 1 either way. If you want to give it to Trez, I give it to Trez on Tuesday, give it to John John on Wednesday. Like, it doesn't even matter who I give it to because the battle, nobody smoked anybody. I'm just being honest with you. Um, Chef Trez is nice, though. I've always liked Chef Trez from the beginning. Uh, I do like to see him back on URL. Uh, but Twerk is, like, really aggressive and has a really loud tone and really is a crowd favorite and he can really bomb on you. So, whatever levels that Trez goes to, like his maximum level of being energetic or trying to use aggression toward just comes out there. Like, uh, he'll, you know, he does this shit right here. And then he's been using different pockets of flows in his joint too. But he'll be like, uh, if this here died. Uh, battle rap is better when twerk is good. You know what I'm saying? Like, the NBA is better when the Knicks are good. For some reason, whatever the Knicks are fucking good, the NBA is just a better place. When Twerk is good, Battle Rap is a better place because we want to see it. And they need you. Guys like Twerk are needed right now. Guys like Chess are needed right now. Guys like Ace I mean, guys like other guys that has fringe potential to become superstars, you are needed because you just saw the guy who was built up all of last year get to the top level, have a disagreement, and bounce. And now he's not there anymore. You know? So, you guys, somebody has to. I told Ace this yesterday. Somebody has to pick up the baton. I'm not saying you need to pick it up or do a B A or B E. No, I'm not saying that. But somebody's got to be a star because the URL is pitching the hardest product to sell right now. You're trying to sell people that we need to be on an app and pay eight ninety seven ninety nine a month or whatever. Yeah, seven ninety nine a month when there's content dropping every day for free. Now are the battlers the same? No. Now other leagues, you know, they got to build talent too. You know, uh, I see what RBE is doing with their talent. They're trying to build. You know, all these leagues got to build talent because if not, you got to keep booking cards with high number, high dollar value people. I'll talk about that in one second. So I love what he's doing and I hope he continues. Chef Trez, love the return, love what he's doing, but I need to see that next level Chef Trez performance. 
I haven't seen. Well, maybe versus the authentic kid, but he's in the uh, he was in the fucking Crucible, proving out whatever you niggas call it. He was in the Crucible, right? And he did really good versus him. And uh, it was clean. Did he battle clean? Yeah, I think he battled clean too. He did good versus him too. But I need to see Trez. Like, I, I, you gotta step it up, bro. Like, we need we need more. I need you to go ballistic because URL needs stars right now. They need people to put on cards. They like you know. Shout out to Chris Unbias. I was watching a blog of his not too long ago. And he was saying, they can't build cards off of a lot of these new guys. They have to still use the big name people. They have to still use Cal, have to still use Goods, have to still use all of these big names because you guys are not, not you, y'all two twerking or shreds, but the guys that are in that, 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 that below level of the top tier guys, y'all not selling out cards. I'm sorry, it's, it's not happening. Like, I don't know anybody that's taking off work and getting a flight to see some of these names. It is what it is. But... You gotta blow up. You gotta you gotta get crazy with it. You gotta have performances worth talking about. You know, I remember there used to be battles when niggas would rush home. When Ab Battle Rum Nitty, oh my god, niggas was wild they're trying to get to that recap. Oh, I gotta get this recap out today. These niggas will drop whole cards of y'all and nobody will talk about them. At all. Why is that? Think we don't like to recap? We get paid to recap. Niggas will turn down money. Niggas will turn down money over recapping some of your battles, and that's a problem. You don't think that we want to get paid, we get paid anyway. So, cause a lot of y'all be like, oh, y'all only talk about the drama, y'all talk about the news, that pays. We could recap some of y'all battles and do 4,000 views, 5,000 views. I could talk about what's going on in the drama and the news and do 25, just saying. So this is your opportunity. Uh, I do like the card so far, uh, but the one thing I must say, you know what I mean, URL, I love the outside thing where you got some bigger names battling against, you know, some different tiered names, you know, and I like it. I love the concept of outside, but URL, you niggas need to let some battles outside. What are we doing here? I get app notifications, I be seeing it, I just close the app. You know, I'm supporting though, I'm supporting, but you haven't given me anything. I can't even remember the last uh, app battle I, re I recapped, and it shouldn't be that way. But anyway, you already know what it is, I'm out of here.